So we're just killing grammarians on sight. We're just yeah. gonna assume all grammarians are. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, this is an asshole run, so of course we're going to be bigoted about it. Oh, uh, you may have uh, picked off. a little bit of a. Maybe a little. Maybe in hindsight, rushing in wasn't the strategy. We've lost two. But dual blaster man here. He's gonna clutch it out. Maybe. Maybe. Oh shit, there's one more. Oh, it's a cheat. He's almost dead. Is there any, um. Bam! Right in the face! Is You want to fight on, but your party's been wiped. Okay. Okay. So I think I could shoot up. Yep. Yeah. You know she don't lie. She don't lie. She don't lie. Okay. Okay. Doctor Rock, so they're <laughs> rock and roll clown. I do cocaine. And what's really fucked up is Eric Clapton was trying on cocaine for years. This is a very self-aware song. At least it wasn't saved back too far. No. I just, I couldn't imagine, like, you're gonna play an RPG and not have, uh... Auto-save? Auto, no, not, uh, well, not auto-save, but, um... Movies. Like, on the PC oh, version. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Now, to be fair... I could have bought the GOG version for two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. You know, it's not like they're like hawking it at 30, 40 bucks. Sure. I think it's nine dollars off sale, but it, there was a period where I got really into Eric Clapton. Um and I remember, like, telling people, you know, check out this song and playing Layla for them. Yeah. And somebody being like, fucking came out like 15 years ago, dude. I think I've heard it. And then uh, one of the friends I had, the friend who was a DJ in the Air Force, fucking could not stand Wonderful Tonight because every fucking wedding he ever played, you're DJing Wonderful Tonight. I think my favorite Eric Clapton album still, though, is um, From the Cradle, uh, where he's doing all the blues standards. I'm here. Which is interesting, like, how some of his albums are um, done. Because the From the Cradle album was the band he put together to record that wonderful moment, the Pilgrim al album. You remember uh, Puffy R&B, Eric Clapton, In My Father's Eyes? Oh god, yeah. <laughs> the the baby-faced uh, Eric Clapton there. I gotta say, at least that for the man, he has no problem collaborating with anyone and giving it a shot. You know, he'll, he'll anything. Um, uh, but yeah, like, a lot of his albums are just like, yeah, these are the guys I was playing with, and it was like, after we re released the main album, I was like, hang out in the studio. We got the studio, let's just make another album real quick and play a bunch of songs. And usually that's become, like, the better album. You're not rolling your saves, John. This is not a true RPG experience. I'm sorry, you're right. What if we, we need to go back eight got hours? 800 blocks on this thing. <laughs> Don't know how many megs that is. <laughs> Even kilobytes, but uh, blocks because people are gonna be too. Du Although, is the switch still in blocks? God, you know. I don't know. I don't know anyone that has a switch. So I could ask that. I know people that have a switch, but 
I haven't bothered to ask that question of them. Because until I remember, oh yeah, it's Nintendo and they don't like, you know, technology, even though they themselves... Uh, did we talk about what you have to do for the voice chat? Yes, we did. Okay. We did. We you have had to that. wire up a special headset with your cell phone and download an, an app. app. Yeah. yeah. I mean... Nintendo's game creators are fucking amazing, and thank god, because if they weren't... Like, It'd be so fucked. That's the only reason for a Nintendo platform, right? Is the first part of Nintendo games. Yeah. On it. Done. Skeletal corpses that move on their own. So we're just killing grammarians on site? We're just yeah. gonna assume all grammarians are, uh... Yeah, yeah, um, this is an asshole run, so of course we're going to be bigoted about it. Oh, uh, you may have, uh... Pick, picked enough. a little bit of a... Maybe a little. Maybe in hindsight, rushing in wasn't the strategy. We've lost two. But dual blaster man here. He's going to clutch it out. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, shit, there's one more. Oh, it's a cheat. He's almost dead. Is there any, um... Bam! Right in the face! Is there any, like, uh... Commander Shepard res your team powers in battle? Um, not... You know, early on. Not early? So like so we really, can did you even bent. see any of the DLC of um, Breath of the Wild? Like, I didn't pay attention to... I, I saw it, but it didn't impress me. Like, what is even going to be the DLC? Like, what's... Like... Because it's kind of an open-world game already. Like, what do you need DLC-wise? Because it, it seems like it's a new Uber shrine. Like, Look, with all kinds of shit in it, but... Huh. Because, I mean, at least Horizon is offering, like, mission DLC, you know? Here's some side missions if you want. Uh, which I don't. I enjoyed that game, but I'm quite happy with where I was at in that. I'm glad to see you. You sweet had Mario Kart, Smash Bros, and the Virtual Console. Dylan, uh, Skyward Sword, well, too linear, way too linear. Um. Was out once. I realized I had to unlock areas. The uh, Breath of the Wild Zelda, um, not played Wii U version, uh, but they're pretty similar. Um, is is interesting. Is 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 good. Um, some like it more than others. I'm like it's it's just a good. It's a good for me. It's a seven point five or an eight. Just a solid game. It's not. Um, Anything I'll ever probably go back to, but it's worth playing. Um, a lot of the other Zeldas are very formulaic, so it's kind of like if you pick up one and you dig it, then you can get into the rest, but if not, then there's probably not going to be one that pulls you in. I'm a Marth. Heart man? No, wait. Mog. Mog. Heart man, heart dog. Or puke, whatever. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. Oh my God, they've gone plaid. Yeah, that's where this this playthrough goes from here on out. It's just space balls or references. Don't underestimate me. I may be. So, I guess I still owe you one. Talk about cocaine. Can you look at the camera right now? Can you can you follow my finger? I know a back door into that scum den. Yeah, why? Why are you asking? Follow your fucking finger. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non Volkers on Terrace who can get you past. I can't remember exactly. Well, you look high as fuck right now, so. Over to the Why don't you just tell me where to go? I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. You did a 
good job mopping up those Gamorreans, but I don't. I mean, if we were committed to the bit, John, yeah, we could put the stream in the stream. Luckily, and do the we're watching now, sir. Uh, now, <laughs> yes, and that was then. then. This is now, right now. Uh. I love you, Rick Moranis. Okay, then. Off Which we go. I think I'm going to be on a hunt again um, to uh, track down Strange Brew. One of the best movies of all time. Sadly, didn't make even the conversion to DVD. Weird. Yeah, it is just a weird, like, left behind title. Maybe it's a rights thing. Maybe it's a. Rick Moranis doesn't give a shit anymore. You know? And. I mean, he's, he's full out retired. He's tapped out and done. Yeah. Huh? Oh. I don't have any med back. That, that door is tweaking hard, man. It sure is. Rick Moranis Ghostbusters. Hey, why does it smell like burnt dog? Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sure, any, 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 who does your taxes, guys? Also, I was young enough to watch Ghostbusters the first time that I didn't get the Gate Master, uh, that that Gatekeeper and Keymaster was just a blatant reference for sex. Also, uh, best uh, low-key joke of the entire movie, um, I want you inside me, and then Bill Murray says, well, it sounds like there's two of you in there already. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh. Which, I don't, did you see the uh, new Ghostbusters? With the no, movie? I haven't seen it yet. Um, it's, a, it's a good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, but man, does uh, Bill Murray phone in his presentation. Like, I'm here. just ridiculous. Like, he's playing um, the uh, EPA dude's role. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the movie. Except, like, he just has like a walk-in scene and it's like, this, I was paid to be here for this one scene. I'm going to have a monocle for some damn reason. I'm going to sit in a chair for my entire scene because I can't be bothered to stand. Damn. Like, those are, those are the worst moments in the movie. Is when they bring in cameos of the original Ghostbusters. It's like, some studio exec thought they had to be there and it doesn't work. Um, I don't know if we got it on Blu-ray. I may have bought that movie on Blu-ray, because supposedly there's a whole bunch of outtakes. Yeah. Because all of the, the women who act, who do this movie, are comedians. Right. So there's a lot of just improv, and apparently on the Blu-ray, there's a lot more of, like, the improv outtakes and all that. And I'm like, oh, shit, I could watch that. I could watch the hell out of that. That was another one that Jasmine was standing up for in the movie theater. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, standing up there and, like holding a proton pack and like shooting the screen and getting all into it um like i told you about like during wonder woman she was standing up there and like yeah blocking the bullets yeah. and unbearably cute hey, Big Z. we gotta do something about your breath I didn't super into window that. yeah now that i think about it your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those gamorian slavers what they feed you buddy <laughs> Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. Wonder Woman is amazing. Wonder Woman is excellent. Um, I have no faith that DC movies from this point are going to be excellent. Nope, nope, but nope, nope, Wonder nope, Woman. Nope, nope, nope. I mean, we are living in the Ben Affleck Batman timeline. That's 
That's where we're at. That somehow... The darkest timeline. Somehow that went from, like, don't worry about it. He's in... See, that's the thing. When somebody's like, don't worry about it, it's a bit part and a, and a weird spinoff. And like, nope, well, that shit just became, like, the canon canonical official Batman now. For the extended universe, <sighs> it's been an Affleck Batman. So... Which I can be behind because... Okay. Michael Keaton is my Batman. My take on it is I want an eccentric, slightly asshole Bruce Wayne. And I don't give a shit who puts on the cow and does the fighting scene. You know? Yeah. Like, to me, Bruce Wayne is more important than Batman. And, um, what's his name? Deep voice. Um, um, Christian Bale. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, I, I, I don't give a shit about him as Bruce Wayne. Like, I cannot care less. Yeah, well, Noble Turtle, then you're probably old. That's... If Michael Keaton is your Batman, uh, you're at least young enough... You're at least as old to, as we are. Yeah, as I say, not to be broken up really hard by Adam West, and more of just like, man, that sucks. But, um... Man, I just remember back in the day too much how much controversy that was of like, Mr. Mom is Batman? You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you. Oh, 29. How are you supposed to use me? Yeah, that's true. But you're you're still I'm still uh, old. Old as shit, man. We 35 right now. You're almost first down territory away from him, yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm 41, so Five, six I'm not years even in older. field goal range. I guess a desperate kick, I guess. Oh. I'm still within a touchdown. <laughs> still a one possession game, damn it.